Sadaldin Bar, the 55-year-old former imam and spiritual leader of the Mashid al-Hidayah Mosque and Islamic Cultural Center in Port Coquitlam, B.C., has been convicted of one count of sexual assault and sentenced to three and a half years in prison. Back in September of 2013, a female member of the mosque asked Saad Bar, who sometimes goes by the name Dr. Saad, for spiritual guidance. With her family waiting downstairs in another part of the mosque, the victim, whose name is being withheld due to a publication ban, was taken by Dr. Saad to a storage room where he first groped his female victim, the court heard, before he returned her to her family, ordering her to read passages from the Quran. According to video evidence submitted at trial, Dr. Saad returned about 35 minutes later, taking his victim back upstairs where he continued the assault. His victim was told this was part of her treatment because the victim was under a bad curse, according to the Imam. The court also heard the victim was told by Dr. Saad not to tell her family about the incident, and later the Imam told her family not to believe anything she said generally, as she was, quote, delusional. In his ruling, Justice Robert Crawford stated that because of the position of authority the Imam held over his victim and the attempt to interfere with her family and what she may say to them, that he had no choice but to find Dr. Saad guilty of one count of sexual contact without permission. But more details are emerging from the court proceedings. Certainly none of them found on the CBC story, but a local publication called Tri-City News has more details from what the court heard. Gary McKenna was the reporter who attended the trial and describes Dr. Saad's defense and some unpleasant graphic details that I will warn you about now in advance if you don't want to hear them. Quote, at trial, Dr. Saad suggested to the court that his semen found in the victim's vagina could have come from a toilet seat where he had ejaculated earlier in the day. He also said that the victim's DNA, which was found on his boxer shorts, may have been the result of the woman putting her hands down his pants. Unquote. They always blame the victims, don't they, these sexual offenders. But more alarming is the statement investigators found his semen inside the victim. That sounds an awful lot more like rape than sexual assault. Why wasn't a rape charge brought here? I have an awful feeling political correctness may have contributed to that, but I am only speculating. As always, I wanted to give the Mashid al-Hidayah and Islamic Cultural Center a chance to respond before I put out my story. I called and tried asking them just one simple question. What will you do and what policies will you put in place to make sure this does not happen again? But at this time, they have not returned my calls nor answered my questions, leading me to believe that they likely have no plan or are simply unwilling to engage the community to quell any fears we have. For The Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Keep it locked to The Rebel.media because we'll give you the unvarnished truth on crimes like this.